When it comes to finance, generics come to mind as big male investors. In the tough world of Wall Street, women's names appear rarely. When Hetty Green lived, he left many men back and became the richest woman of his time, and at the same time, he became a big investor. Green, who took the name of the Witches of the Markets, came to Worth in 1834. Green, who opened his first bank account when he was eight years old, owes his knowledge of the economy and finance to finance pages and to his blind grandfather. Hetty was also an accountant after he got money to go to the whale business after marrying Matt's father, Hetty's bedridden mother, who talked about each stock and bill detail. Robinson, Hetty Green's father, was known as a ruthless businessman. After his mother's death, Edward Robinson took Green with him and stayed with him until 1864. Robinson had a $7.5 million family fortune at the age of 30. Robinson warned Hetty in the deathbed that he was poisoned by conspirators and could come within himself. Shortly after his father's death, his rich aunt died and he had a great fortune. Hetty decided to evaluate the money on Wall Street. He preferred low-risk, tax-protected investments. He gained a fortune by buying shares at a low price by taking advantage of the financial panic in times when markets were fragile. He assessed the bonds and housing side shares. Everyone ran away from the markets and collected the shares in those low numbers. It was good at evaluating the market with signs of recovery and effective in heating the markets. The only account that Green had made was to marry Ned Green. Ned, a successful speculator, and Hetty's incompatible investment characters have begun to suffer. Hetty hated speculations and margins. In a statement to the New York Times in November 1905, it was announced that the prices were low, and that someone did not want to buy it, and that the price was up as much as the purchase. Hetty bought everything he could find about the railways and bond markets. Hetty, who is said to be sloppy, is taking her son's injured leg to a hospital that offers free care for healing, causing his son to be cut off. In the 1800s, Hetty Green, who directed his interest to the National Chemical Bank, made the most remarkable move in 1097. Hetty continued to invest in panic years and had $100 million in cash money when he died at the age of 70.